What's up, everyone? So I bought a tow hitch for my 2016 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid XLE. And then I went all out. And to install it, I bought these Rhino ramps from Walmart. They were $40. And this um, Blackjack Creeper. This thing was on sale for 17 I wasn't going to buy it, but I figured for 17 why not? It's something I kind of always wanted. And I'm uh, sick of getting down on cardboard and whatnot, but see how that works. Anyways, I also bought this Kurt tow hitch from um, e-trailer. And with any luck, this won't take too long. Alright, so I got the car up in the air here, and the first thing I'm trying to do is remove the exhaust. Or not remove it, but lower it. Because, as you can see, that, that's where one of the bolts goes for the tow hitch. And the other one is over here. It's kind of hard to see. And the exhaust is right in the way. So, you gotta take this rubber piece gotta slide the exhaust out of this rubber holder which I've been trying to do with my hands and it's not going so <clears throat> I saw another video <clears throat> where you put some uh, lubricant on this and then they basically took a tool and pried this out so I got some WD-40 and I have a crowbar and I'm gonna give it a try alright that didn't take me long it is free now um, well there it goes the um I, I will say that WD-40 definitely helped, I believe, because I did try it first without. My car's only um, five months old, so it's not like it's super rusted under here and all that. But um, I did put the, the lubricant on. I was trying to get it with, you know, a large wrench. And uh, that I was having trouble with that. So I went to this crowbar, which isn't huge, but I used this back part. And I kind of put it up against the exhaust like this, and I was just fishing it back or, you know, forcing it back like that, and it did pop pop free. I was also pulling with my with my hands. I mean, it's really not that hard. Um, but now it's, it's definitely down far enough that I can sneak the, you know, move it around and sneak the tow hitch um, up there. And you can clearly see um, both of the areas that the tow hitch needs to go in now. All right, on to the driver's side next. All right, so now that I have the exhaust off, I'm moving over to the uh, driver's side here, and I need to remove this tow plate that was used um, by the manufacturer, I think, getting it over to America. And to do that, there's two little like push pins here, one here and one here in the back that you need to remove. I'm going to remove those by just kind of taking my screwdriver here and um, and popping it out right in there on each side. And then in the front of this, um, oh, up here, there is a um, 10 millimeter bolt that I will remove and then I'll take this this um, plastic box off. All right, that box came off fairly easy. Um, actually, it's very easy. The two pins in the front popped right out with the uh, flathead screwdriver, and then the 10 millimeter uh, took care of that in the back. And then I just screwed it back in to hold it for now. Um, this down here. Then there's the box. I don't even know if I'm gonna put it back on. Uh, I'm not sure that all. All the RAV4s even have it. So next I'm going to remove this tow hook and that will open up. I think the tow hitch goes into this rearmost one and then you skip one and it will go into this one. So we'll skip this one. But I will see that better in a minute. Okay, the, uh, the tow hook is off. 
But I must say, I had a hell of a time getting it off. It, it, in the end, it only took me like, I don't know, like 10 minutes because I had to go find different tools. But uh, I originally tried with your standard uh, ratchet there, and I had no chance. I was trying to uh, maybe hit it with a hammer and whatnot. The, these bolts were not budging. What you need is, um, the socket you need is uh, 17 millimeter. And... I switched from this guy to the big one that I bought to torque down the uh, tow hitch when I'm done. And I'm happy I bought this thing <laughs> because it just made life very easy getting these bolts out. You do need one of these extenders. I don't know what this is. Somewhere around 6 inches. It worked fine. But uh, any less I don't think would have worked. Alright, back to the passenger side. The next thing I need to do is on the exhaust here, there's um, this bracket on the uh, left side that needs to come off and there's two bolts that will have to come out and or nuts and they're 12 millimeter. So I'm going to pull those two out right now. Okay, this came off very easy. Like I said, there's just these two. It's right on top of the exhaust. It's hard to see. Oh, it's real hard. Anyways, yeah, it was right in there. I don't even really know what it's for because the exhaust was connected by this guy. So I don't remember what this did. But um, I watched a different video that said to take it off. So I took it off and... I don't think I need to put it back on, but we're going to find out. Here's the specs on this tow hitch. It's a Kurt. Uh, it won't focus, but there you go. The you know It can outdo the RAV4, obviously. The RAV, this hybrid RAV4 is rated at 1,750 pounds of towing capacity. So inside the tow hitch comes this little bag with the bolts and washers to install it and I'm wondering if maybe there's instructions in here let me open that up alright apparently I should have opened this earlier because <clears throat> Kurt includes this really nice three page instruction kit actually it's uh, six pages because it's double sided so there's the four bolts that come with it and then it tells you right here basically what tools they suggest you use and you need the 17 and 19 millimeter you need the 8 inch extension a ratchet, the torque wrench I don't have a pipe wrench, but, uh, I mean uh, a wire pipe brush, but I think I'm going to manage. Flip this over and it uh, pretty much shows what I've been doing. I removed this panel, we lowered the exhaust. And then it goes on to putting the hitch in to place, putting the 12 millimeter hex bolts on, um, and then you torque them to 86 pounds. My problem is, is this thing is quite heavy, and um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this by myself, so I might try to put a jack underneath it and have that help me, and I'm wondering if taking the car off ramps might be better for this. Alright, so the hitch is on. I actually had some uh, spectators, my three-year-old twin daughters, which actually kind of came in handy because they were able to pump the jack to help me. But unfortunately I realized that with these 8-inch um, ramps that I bought, it was still um, too high. So I put these boards on and you can see it still wasn't high enough, but it, it really was high enough. It just, you know, I just had it leaning down a little on one side just by a few inches. And I had, uh, my wife came out and held one side so I could get the bolts in. I would say I only needed my wife's help for like around five minutes by the time I had it. I, I was close to having it myself, but um, she came out to just make it easier. And I torqued them, which I definitely recommend getting one of these big, uh, ratchets to do because it's not easy um, to get under there with the small one but there they are this side was kind of a pain 
Um, I put a smaller uh, attachment on the ratchet and uh, just push the exhaust down. It does have some play. I only needed to push it down like an inch, which really helped. And the ratchet was long enough that you know the handle, the end of the handle came out here, so I was able to pull it beyond, just beyond the outside of the car. And now this side is in. And I don't think I'm going to put this box back on right now. I think you have to trim it according to uh, Kurt's directions. And I'm going to take these stickers off because we'll have to see if I can see them with the car lower, but right now they're quite in my face. And I got to connect the exhaust hanger back. So I'm going to do that now, lower the car, and we'll see the final outcome. That took all of about 30 seconds. That was um, much easier to put back on than it was to take off with the help of this again. Sprayed some of that on the um, on both sides, the rubber piece and the um, metal piece, and it slid right in without just by hand. Very simple. All right, just to show you how low this trailer uh, tow hitch sits, whatever, um, how much lower than the um, the plastic underneath the car. It's looking to be uh, just under four inches, and then seven, just under seven total. Doesn't seem that bad. Seeing there's some piece here, and the distance between the tow hitch and that, I can't even fit my finger under. So they did good. In the end, it looks like this is the uh, tools I needed to do this job. I had my trusty creeper there they just bought for seventeen dollars at Walmart which I actually really like and um, classic light, some gloves if you want to keep your hands clean that's optional of course flathead screw, whoa shaky a little here flathead screwdriver um, the torque ratchet we used 12 millimeter uh, 17 and 19 a few extenders, the crowbar to get the exhaust off, WD-40 to help with the exhaust. This, these parts up here are all extra. The tow hook and its bolts, and then this came off the exhaust. I would say this took me probably close to an hour and a half because just getting all my tools in one spot because I keep a lot of them in my basement and finding this and finding that and dealing with my kids. Um, oh, I did use a jack as well, and I decided to just get these wheel ramps to make my life back here a little easier. All in all, I'd call this a pretty easy job, and if I had to do it again, I think I'd get it done in half the time. Here's the final result with the uh, receiver in there. I measured, um, I have a two inch drop on, on the um, receiver there, and the top of the ball is at 12 inches and the bottom's uh, around 10, so, or I should say, uh, this part where your, where your trailer will actually rest on. That's 10 inches off the ground, so not very high. I probably shouldn't have had a drop here, but um, I haven't even tested it with my trailer yet. So I could always flip that upside down. That's it for now. Have a good one.